Okay, what I'm going to do on my Hemiway Zebra is replace this handlebar holder with a new one. It's this one right here. And this one is adjustable from zero to 60 degrees. So what I wanna do is I wanna raise the handlebars up. Because right now the handlebars are at 12 and a half inches from the fender. If you measure from the fender up, it's 12 and a half inches. So once I install it, you'll see what the new measurement is. So in addition to the new extension, what you're going to possibly need are more or one or two more of these spacers. And these spacers go right here. Because when you take this off and put it on, you want this to clamp down tightly on the stem. And this height of this is a little bit larger than the height of the new one. So I'm probably going to need one ring. Okay, you're gonna to have to forgive me, I have a cold. So if I sound a little bit nasally, that's what's going on. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure the power is off. Then you wanna remove the handlebar from this extension tube. So you wanna support the handlebar and the little bracket to try and stop it from falling on the floor. All right, so here's the bracket. The handlebars are just staying in there. So now what I'm going to do is put this aside and then carefully remove the handlebar and I'll try and set it here. There we go. So now there's a little rubber tube, a little rubber cover that fits over the top of this. Now you need to remove, um, actually loosen these up and then you can remove this. All right, so make note that this screw screws in this way, this one screws in this way. So we're gonna loosen that up. Loosen this one up. All right, so those are loose now, and this is holding it tight still, so we're gonna loosen this one from the top. That wasn't super tight. Okay, there it is. Now, what's very important too, is that you have the bicycle resting on the ground, because right now, if I lifted this bike up right here, this would drop right out the fork would drop right out, right out. So we're gonna put the old one over here and we'll get the new one. And that's going to install with the handlebar further away from you. And then we're just going to, let's see. Yep, I don't need the spacers on this one. So this should be fine. The other thing is you have to line this up with the wheel. So before you tighten that up, you definitely have to line it up with the wheel. I'm just doing a rough alignment right now. These are loose, so they're not tight. So we can actually tighten these up now. And let's see if this one fits. Yep, it does. Gonna snug these up.
You actually do not want to have these tight. This has to be above the tube. When you tighten this down, it's going to draw it down to the tube. And again, line this up roughly. Next thing we're going to do is reinstall our handlebars before we tighten any of this up. Put these handlebars back up. Just like that. This is going to go in here. I just had these finger tight so the handlebar can actually move if I really press on it. Now I'm going to loosen this up and adjust the angle. Okay, there you can see what happens. So now we're going to move this up. Now, one thing you have to make sure is that the cables are long enough, and in this case, they definitely are. So now I'm going to snug this up a little bit. Then what we have to do is adjust the angle of this by moving the handlebars like that. Alright, so what I had to do was just loosen the two screws that hold this in place and rotate it out of the way in order to tighten the handlebar up. So now I'm going to tighten these in an alternating pattern. Alright, the handlebar is not going anywhere. Now you can rotate this back into place and kind of check it <clears throat> that's about where I'd want it right about there now I had to use a very small Allen wrench Alright, so that's not going anywhere, that's tight. So now the handlebars are tight. The only thing left to do is to line this up, line the handlebars up with a wheel. So what I'm going to do is turn the tire so it faces the front, then rotate this around. And then we're going to snug this down. And then these can also be tightened. Once I get that done, I'll show you the next step. Alright, so those are just snugged up. And this is just eyeballing it. It looks good. It feels tight. Now what I want to do is walk around here and I'm going to try and raise this up. All right, and then I want to rotate this, make sure there's no binding and there's not. So now I'm going to snug it a little bit more, all three spots. That's pretty tight. But that's tight. That's tight. That's tight. These I know are tight. This is tight. 
right, so let me just eyeball this again. It looks like it's lined up to me. Make one more check. Raise this up, rotate this. Looks good. The cables are not stretched. This is raised up. I can actually raise this a little bit more if I had to. So now I wanna sit on it and just see. Oh yeah, I can already tell. I can already tell it's a lot better. Okay, so we're going to take a measurement now to see where it's at. It was at 12 and a half inches from the fender. Now it's at 15 and a half, so three inches. So I got three additional inches of height from installing that. Very good. 